Hello Turn of Lyceum and Hello World. I'm your host Alva and today we are going to be drawing cards from the Angel Therapy Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So the thing I really like about this deck is their action steps. So you get a message but then they're sort of um, where do we go from here? So before we get started let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Let that go and let that flow. All right, we are reading for, and I still haven't looked at my calendar, even though it's, what, we're two weeks now into the new year, but it's the new year. <laughs> so this is for the 10th, 11th, and 12th of January. So Monday the 10th, Tuesday the 11th, and Wednesday the 12th. So we've worked with this deck, I think, once before, but I'll go ahead and show you the front here. It's a... Uh, the hands of Archangel Raphael sitting healing light with a pretty gilded edge. So what the universe wants to say to us for the next couple of days. Okay. Ooh, that one's coming out. Oh, and here's another one. Okay, that was pretty quick. Let's see here, and I see why it was pretty quick. Okay, folks, so this is one of those messages that I feel like, um, it's not like a domino message where one message drops into the next and drops into the next like it was last week. Um, this is a very distinct, this is a weather pattern message. This is a, you know, it, it's all together sort of thing, so first card and because it's this way I may just go ahead and show you all the cards I'll hold them up and read them but I, I feel like this is, is a pretty strong kind of cohesive message but release okay and this says work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose okay so this is a theme about um, our our life's purpose our divine purpose uh, our grand passion, the thing that sort of gets us up and going in the morning, and that may not be what you do to pay the bills, and that's okay. Just saying that this is um, this is a, a let go of things because the things that you're not letting go of are getting in the way. Um, we also have parents, and it says the divine truth is that your parents internally love you to the best of their ability. I want to emphasize to the best of their ability. People can only meet you where they're at. Okay? Um, and in this case, let me finish reading this. Uh, the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. I would extend that out to um, any sort of parental figure, any um, father figure, mother figure, uh, nurturing adult that was in your life that sort of um, played those roles for you. Okay? Um, yeah, divine truth. Yeah, you're loved and you were still hurt. Your parents tried the best they could and it wasn't enough. Okay, it, it's it's always these sort of and statements. Um, they did the best they could and it still hurt. Or um, they showed up for you when they could and you still needed more. Like, it's okay Like to have, it can, it can be two things at once. Two truths can exist at once. So I understand fully that this might be uh, super triggering for folks, but then this card was first. So I'm kind of like, there may be some pain associated here. We'll take these individually too. I just want to tell you the over, overarching message I'm kind of getting here. Um, Archangel Michael is our third card, and it says you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Um, so it's safe. You are safe. I hope um, it isn't the case that um, you came from an abusive um, family unit or there was abuse taking place. Um, but I also know statistically that's, you know, X amount of people that is the case. Um, and I feel like Archangel Michael is saying, you're safe now. It's okay to look at this. It's okay to let this go. All right. So let's go. Rewind back up here to the front. So, release. 
And that's like um, any anything that's holding you back. And I feel like that's mostly in this case like fear, uh, possibly pain, um, maybe trauma, maybe some sort of uh, previous crises that's sort of holding you back from um, moving forward with what you're meant to do. Okay? And again, when I say what you're meant to do, I don't mean that like what you do to pay the bills. Uh, I mean block creativity. I'm really very strongly getting block creativity. <laughs> you know, that we are meant to create something. Okay? And again, what we do for to pay the bills may not always um, fulfill us. In, in that category. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, that's okay. You still need to make time to be creative. Um, and again, work with, working with Archangel Michael. So when we think about Archangel Michael, we're thinking about um, someone who's aware of your, I guess, syllabus, okay? Um, who knows kind of what your purpose is or what this creative um, adventure is that you're supposed to be embarking on, uh, but Archangel Michael also is a remover of obstacles, okay, um, and a protector. They, he, he wears many, many different hats, so, but I feel like this, this whole spread is just release, let it go, heal, you, you got something that you're meant to be doing, ask Archangel Michael, very specifically Archangel Michael, for help. So, um, action step with this, okay? One, identify what it is that you're needing to release. Um, spoiler alert, uh, the universe is pointing at your parents <laughs> or parental figures or childhood pain, okay? And I don't mean to make light of that. Sometimes laughter really helps us heal, though, so just bear that in mind. Um, write it down on a piece of paper. We'll do this just like we do a, a full moon release. Write it down on a piece of paper. If it's more comfortable to type it up, type it up and print it out. Um, and just ask out loud, Archangel Michael, what am I supposed to release? Okay, what am I supposed to let go of? What is standing in my way? Don't uh, fight whatever comes up. Just type it out. Whatever that is. Okay, just type it out. Do not judge yourself. Do not judge what comes up. Do not shame yourself for whatever comes up. Just type it out. And there you have it, okay? After you're done with this, take it, take that paper, go burn it. I advocate burning because it's a little bit cleaner. Um, you can drown the paper, okay? It's be a little bit messier, but it'll still make the ink run away. Um, or you can bury it, okay? It's paper, so don't, don't worry too much about it causing ecological issues. But get rid of the paper. Release that, okay? The Archangel Michael sword, cutting that all away, okay? And it's safe. It's safe to do this now, all right? I feel like there's a glare on that. There we go. So you can see that card. Okay, again, I feel like this release, or what we're kind of getting with this release is there's some there's some pain or there's some unfinished business or there's some, um, I'll say confrontation, but maybe looking at something uh, from your childhood that involved your parents or parental figures. Um, and frequently our consciousness of that is still that of a child. It's like, yes, we're in adult bodies, and yes, we are living our lives and paying our bills and doing our stuff. Uh, but there's still a kid inside of us that maybe is scared of daddy or um, feels sad about mommy or um, doesn't, doesn't know how to... Um, voice how they're feeling because of something mommy or daddy did okay um i think that needs to be explored for you all and again the action step with this um ask for help and again very specifically we're being asked to ask we, we are being asked to ask <laughs> archangel michael um f for those of you who uh may be triggered by uh judeo-christian um i guess I don't know, symbolism, uh, it may relieve you to know Archangel Michael is not exclusive to um, Judeo-Christian beliefs. In fact, none of the angels are. Um, they also show up in Islam, which again, arguably offshoot of um, Judaism, but 
every culture has some sort of helper spirit. Okay? Every culture has that. So I think sometimes it's it's helpful again if things are triggering. You can't you can't heal and you can't get help and you can't ask for help if if the things that you know are coming up are, are triggering on another level, right? Um Archangel Michael's not denominational. Okay, for lack of a better word. Um I don't I don't feel that they are attached. And when I say they, I mean the archangels, angels, wing, the winged beings, you know, whatever you want to call them, are attached to uh, human religions. Like, I don't, I, I don't get that feeling. I actually, just as a sidebar, you know, they're actually kind of their own species and do their own thing. That's just me. That's the feeling I get. Um, again, if it's like super triggery, um, ask, ask the helper spirit that you are most comfortable with. But again, I'm getting very strongly Archangel Michael, and again, for the many different roles that he plays. One, in being able to assist you with your life purpose, uh, but also being someone who protects and someone who cuts away. Um, and not cutting away in a negative, like in a negative, you know, but in a, a cleansing, a clearing, um, uh, taking, you know, uh, like you're weeding a garden, okay? Or you are pruning a tree, it's it's necessary um, removal of energy and things that no longer serve you. Um, the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. This is probably getting in the way. If you have difficulty with self care, if you have difficulty nurturing yourself, that can be a, that could be a mother wound. Uh, if you lack confidence in your abilities, if you lack confidence putting your uh, work, your creative work out there, uh, that could be a father wound, okay? And you, here's the thing, too. You may have a great relationship with your parents, and that's wonderful if you do, and they may still have said or done something to make you doubt your own creativity, and they didn't mean to. <laughs> like, this happens. We're human beings, okay? Well, we're spiritual beings having a human experience, but we're still having that human experience, y'all. Like, it's happening. <laughs> You're going to make mistakes. And guess what? No one ever learned anything by getting it right all the time. Okay? Um, you're going to make mistakes. It's okay. Your parents made mistakes. That's okay, too. We can heal from this. All right? So this may be something that needs to be looked at or addressed or kind of work, work around the next couple of days. And again... <laughs> Um, my friend and yours, Archangel Michael, and I really just want to put that out there again. One, you know, him being aware of, of, and I think of it as a syllabus. That's by teacher background talking. Syllabus, you came down here for a purpose. You have X amount of lessons to learn. Um, you've made agreements with other people to learn those lessons and to play a part in the lessons they're supposed to learn. He, he knows all this. Okay, again, as, um... Non-denominational, I'd say multi-dimensional <laughs> um, energy being, okay, helper spirit, if you like that better, um, protecting, okay, that source for protecting, that source is also a tool to cut away and prune things that aren't there. So it's safe now to look at the thing that's been holding you back, it's safe now to address the pain, it's safe now. Um, to heal those wounds, to heal that trauma, you are safe. It is safe to do this work now. I can't stress that enough. And the third thing, again, that Michael does, cutting away things, cutting away things that no longer, that we no longer need or that are standing in our way. So that's, that's a triple um, threat coming there to sort of help you out while you're processing this stuff. So, and like I said, this feels very, like this is a very specific thing that we, we are needing to look at. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, put them down in the bottom. We can carry on this conversation uh, for as long as we need to. So, uh, but the video can't go on forever. So, uh, let's take another nice deep cleansing breath in. Let that go and let it flow. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.